Hello everyone, so here we are at the 12th lecture of our course operating system in which we are using C language and the environment we are working in is Linux. Uh, so this week we will cover a very important topic which is multithreading. What is multithreading? The ability of the CPU or if you are using multiple cores then the ability of a single core to execute more than one thread concurrently or uh, parallelly or you can also say at the same time is known as multi-threading. So you can call it as parallel execution. Now to make this more simple, uh, let's see what is a thread. Processes can be further subdivided into independent units which are called threads. So what is a thread? Thread is a lightweight process which execute in the address space of the process. So when any process create any thread, that thread does not have its own independent address space rather it uses the same address space of the process which created it. By using the address space of a process what we mean is let's suppose this is the address space of any process now when a new thread is created it is given a segment or a section in the address space of the process so it, it shares the, the the thread shares the address space of the process which created it now we have to look at two things first is let's suppose this is some process which created these three threads so so this is thread number one this is thread number two and this is thread number three now the question is how many threads are there in total in in this process so the answer will be four threads not three why four because there is a main thread 2 in which this process is running. So there, we always count that thread 2, the main thread which actually created these three threads. So if you are ever given a number of threads and asked how many threads are there in total, always add one more in the count of thread. Why? To account that main thread 2. So always count that main thread 2. This was the generic concept of threads. Now let's see how will we implement threads. Before diving deeper into the code or the syntax, let's look at threads in a simple way. Okay, so it's a general concept that threads are a bit difficult to understand, but they are not. They are actually very, very easy. So whenever you think about threads, just think of them as some function. So what we will do is we will just create a function and we will write whatever functionality we want to be run as a separate thread in it. So whatever we want our, th our thread to do, we will just write that in this function. And then what we will do is we will create a thread and we will run this function as a separate thread. We will just do, do that. So just think of threads as a function. I'm, I'm going to repeat what we will do is we will make a function. We will write whatever we want to be done in that thread. And then we will create a thread and run this function on that thread. Now, how to create a th thread and run this function on, uh, on it? For that, let's look at some code. 